good vibe. It's a great vibe, yeah. We've um, we've been here this morning, beautiful weather. Noosa, you know, it's an iconic location uh, where the final's going to be, so it's great to have the launch here. And, um, yeah, the vibe here is everyone's excited and, and can't wait to, to make it happen. We might as well start with locations. The locations, are pretty good to be going back to, like, those sort of locations that made the sport famous. Yeah, I think the big one's going to be Portsea, obviously. Um, everyone's excited about that. I've raced there a couple of times and, um, you know, had some memorable races and in some amazing massive surf. So uh, that time of year, hopefully we can, get, we can get some swell and make some really exciting TV. Uh, having some of the legends around again these days, has that created a, a new atmosphere amongst everybody? It has, you know, they, they, they're very approachable, um, easy to, easy going guys. So, you know, they're, they're certainly at our level and, uh, and you know, talk to us and, and give us advice on, you know, they, they kind of, I guess, establish Ironman racing as a, as a professional sport. So um, it's, it's great to get tips off them and, and, and learn from, from the best, I guess. And, you know, hopefully then we can take that and take the sport to, to, a nec to the next level. Television coverage, um, 10 support is massive compared to what it has been in the past. Um, three hours live, all the different things. I mean, you guys are going to become bigger stars just by pure weight of numbers. You've got to be happy with that sport. Yeah, yeah, look, it's it's exciting to be on 10. You know, uh, in the glory days, 10, ha 10 had it. They know what it, what it, you know, what it can be and, and hopefully what it will be, we'll get back to. And, uh, you know, premier channel for sport in Australia. So, um, you know, exciting to, to be on be on 10. And uh, finally, we'll talk about the rivalries. You know, um, I'm sure Shannon's trained harder than ever this year. From my, in my point of view, it's it's got to be the best matchup of athletes in recent times. I think it is. You know, it's um, I just can't wait to get back into it. Um, had a year out. I've got renewed enthusiasm, and uh, there's a few young blokes that are, that are certainly going to keep me honest. And uh, yeah, we've never had you know, say, the, the big names all together in one series and. Uh, with, with Kai, uh, Kane Eckstein and Shannon uh, and then myself back, back in there in the mix trying to, sh trying to get back on the, on the winning dice. Um, it's going to be some exciting racing and with some different formats as well which some of us have never, never experienced uh, with some longer races. Um, you know, the, you're going to see probably some new names come into the mix as well. Longer races, they see you? I don't know because I've never, uh, I've never really done them. I've, you know, Obviously, won the cool and got a goal, but uh, I never thought I'd never put myself in a um, in the category of being competitive in longer races. But uh, you know, it's either 20 minutes or, or four and a half hours as being the gold. So um, in the middle there with the, the first round, a two-hour race, it's going to be interesting. But um, you know, I think I've got the experience there to um, you know over the over the many years to to pull me through. I think. I know the cliche is 20 athletes, they're all out there, they're all a chance, but realistically, um, it's being promoted as you, Zane, uh, you, Kane, Shannon and Kai, uh, is that really how you see it? Well, they're the obvious ones, um, but it, it's definitely hard to judge because the majority of us have never raced over this sort of format before, uh, every round being a, being a different format, and um, so, you know, I can't really say who's who's going to be um, who's going to be the one to watch, but uh, I think that the names you've mentioned are definitely um, you know, especially in the enduro type format. Um, you'd have to say Kane is going to perform really well. Uh, I think that that sort of distance will suit Shannon. Kai's done it before um, and performed well at it, and um, you know, I guess from my point of view, as I said, I'm, it's an unknown for me, but I'm sure with my experience and I'm training harder harder than I ever have uh, to try and get back to better you know hopefully better than where I was before the injury um, you know it, it's going to be some close exciting racing